Honda is finally bringing out a proper hybrid. After years of offering us vehicles like the CRZ, the Insight, the Civic, and even the Accord, using Honda's weak integrated motor assist technology, a real two-stage hybrid is coming from the big H, the all-new 2014 Accord Hybrid. Honda is quick to point out that the all-new Accord introduced last year is the number one selling sedan amongst retail consumers. The hybrid is being added to further increase this lead. It is powered by an all-new 2.0-liter Atkinson Cycle four-cylinder engine producing 141 horsepower and 122 pound-feet of torque, and Honda says this is 10% more efficient than their current 2.0-liter engine. Attached to this engine is a 124 kilowatt electric motor generating 166 horsepower and 226 pound-feet of torque and combined the two units will make an output of 196 horsepower. Power is sent to the front wheels through what Honda calls an eCVT which is basically a direct drive transmission. Fuel economy is officially rated at 47 miles per gallon combined. The Accord Hybrid will begin at $29,155 with the range topping Accord Hybrid Touring, seen here, coming in at $35,695 after destination charges. Unlike the Sonata, Fusion or Optima hybrids, Honda has decided to keep the styling of the new Accord Hybrid very similar to non-hybrid models. The biggest tip-offs that this is a hybrid model are the unique rims as well as the blue tinted grille and headlight bezels up front. In back, there is a unique rear spoiler, blue tinted taillights, as well as a rear diffuser. Take a little closer look and you will notice the hybrid is slightly longer and slightly lower than regular Accords. And what aren't visually obvious are the aluminum hood and an all aluminum front subframe exclusive to the hybrid. Inside, the hybrid is very similar to regular Accord models, except for some different menu screens, unique gauge cluster, and a couple different trim pieces. That means it's just the usual fare in here, which is a bit drab, yet well laid out with high quality fit and finish. As can be expected from a sedan turned hybrid, there's a little less trunk space in this car. It has lost three cubic feet, and it goes down another half cubic foot when you go to the higher trim models, thanks to the addition of a subwoofer back there. Like regular Accords, the hybrid comes equipped with lane watch blind spot monitoring, a rear view camera, LED daytime running lights, dual zone automatic climate control, and optional forward collision warning, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise, and navigation. The hybrid Accord weighs just over 3,600 pounds and is basically on par with the V6 Accord. Now, Honda's achieved this by lightening up a lot of materials in the vehicle. Of course, having low rolling resistance tires and extra boosted steering means this Accord is a little more numb than your garden variety Accord, but it still drives pretty good and better than most other hybrids. Honda seems to have stolen a page from Toyota's playbook by having regenerative brakes that are seamless. It feels like you're just braking with a normal car, whereas some other hybrids you can really notice when the regen braking and the regular braking switch back and forth. The Accord Hybrid can be driven in three modes, EV, Hybrid, and Direct Drive. Now, Direct Drive is really reserved for the highway, and the gasoline engine will connect directly to the transmission and act like a really tall sixth gear and just loft you down the road. EV mode can be turned on at any speed, even on the highway, but at those speeds, even the slightest touch of the throttle will cause the gasoline engine to refire. But on a nice, twisty mountain road like we're on now, I could actually leave it in EV mode for a long time as the hills let it regenerate and then I can just ease my way back up the next one. Honda spent a lot of time trying to make the hybrid drivetrain smooth. They wanted the transition from electric to hybrid to gas only to be perfectly seamless. And after driving the Camry and the Sonata hybrids, I would say they've succeeded. It is much smoother than those two in its transition and it feels more powerful than the Camry. Another advantage for the Accord over the Camry is it'll stay in battery only mode a lot longer and with more throttle application than that Camry. The one downside though is the Accord seems louder under throttle than either the Camry or the Sonata and that's not just with the gas engine on, that's also with the electric motor running. The hybrid only improves the Accord range. The problem for Honda will be that this market is so tightly contested. All the players have serious pros and cons. 
Now, Honda did claim 47 miles per gallon combined fuel efficiency with the Accord Hybrid, and although we only had it for a couple hours on the road, we were only averaging between 43 and 44. It's nothing to be ashamed of, but it's not quite living up to the number that Honda had posted. That aside, this Accord is one of the best mid-size hybrid sedans when it comes to blending in with the crowd. It drives, looks, and feels the most like a regular sedan. So for those who want a hybrid but also want some subtlety, this will be your ride.